Hello and thank you for watching BEN, the Business and Employment News Network. I'm Jeanette Ng and you are watching Women in Business. We all know that being a woman in business is no cakewalk and our show is dedicated to telling that unique story that is female entrepreneurship. Every episode will profile and tell the full story from the burnt cookies to the icing on the cake of a notable female entrepreneur and her business. And today we have the pleasure of visiting Fernanda Capobianco, the founding diva behind Vegan Divas, the high-end dessert brand that I am personally very excited about because I have tried many of them and let's just say I have not met a Vegan Diva dessert that I didn't love. So we are sitting right here in her Upper East Side boutique bakery and thank you so much for having us over. Thank you so much for coming. Fernanda, Vegan Divas is a smashing success. Your treats are available everywhere from Whole Foods to private specialty health food stores. The Vegan Divas cookbook is out there and amongst your famous customers are the Clintons and Anne Hathaway. You've got a retail component, a wholesale component, and an online component to Vegan Divas. This is so much to be said for being only three years into your business. We want to learn about how it all began. Can you take us there? It all started when I moved to New York and I already was in the food business in Brazil. But when I moved here, I realized that I couldn't be in the food business selling pastries that were not something that I could eat. So I started researching you know, about all of those ingredients because back in 2010, you know, all the vegan pastries tasted horrible. We couldn't tell the people that the food was vegan. They wouldn't even try, imagine, buy. I was giving all the pastries away and then desserts and people wouldn't even try it was really difficult. My friends, they were like, Fernanda, this tastes so good, but you should change the name of the company because if you say vegan divas, nobody will eat. And then I said, no, but you know, I really believe that in the future, it, this will be an asset because a lot of people sell vegan desserts, but they're not truthful to what it is. I knew that one day would be very important for the customers to know that here we just make things that don't have any animal product. This is really interesting. Encountering resistance right up front, many entrepreneurs would be tempted to give up. How did you see yourself through to the success of Vegan Divas? I think it's because I'm really very insistent and I'm very passionate about what I do. For me, this is not a business, this is a lifestyle. And when I do that, I don't try to cut corners or try to find a cheaper ingredient Everything that we do here, it's something that I eat. I really work to build something meaningful, and still I have a long way to go, but now I can see the results. What would you say to the female entrepreneurs out there? I think the key is to be truthful to what you believe in your passion. And if you really have something credible or you have a great idea, you just have to continue. You can't give up. And it's really hard because sometimes some days are more difficult, we're human beings. Sometimes it's really tough, but I think at the end of the day, you know, when you go to sleep, you feel very good. And when you find people that love your product, you know, and the, the response is immediate, you know. And this is really what drives us to the next level. Now, it's one thing to subscribe to a certain lifestyle and be passionate about it. It's another thing to turn that lifestyle into a business and succeed at it. So how did you bridge that gap and gain the business know-how to be able to turn your passion or lifestyle into a business? Lots of people, they have great ideas, but they would never be able to have their own business because it's something that you have to have inside you. you know? And I was like that since I was younger, I could never be subordinated to someone else. So I knew that it wasn't for me. Don't try to do something that you can't. I think it's just you have to know yourself. Let's celebrate Vegan Divas for a little bit. Was there a time where you felt like so sure and there was a milestone or a highlight that let you know you were on the right path? When I was doing PR, I knew already for some reason that I had something different going on. And it was really weird, because I was really young. I was going to finish my college, and you know, and I wanted to work in a big corporation to learn. I had already this goal. 
and after I wanted to move on to do something for myself. Was there ever a moment where you thought perhaps I'm going to go back to PR or you wanted to just give up and how did you pull yourself out of that? So I think that every day I feel that. Sometimes I go home and I'm like, you know, this is too difficult to me. Maybe I should just do my PR, it's just so easier. Really, with food, anything can happen. And every day we have problems. But at the same time, it's really good to inspire people. Either we have this great customer, or this mother, or something like incredible that happens. And it feels like it's an angel or some force is there, you know, that, he, that I can't stop. As much as we prepare, there's always surprises and lessons learned. What are some of the lessons that you've learned along the way? Well, I think we can write a book about these lessons, you know, that I'm still learning every day. For me, the most important things are, first of all, surround yourself with good people in the business that you are. So I have a lot of people that I can look for advice, other chefs or other business people. This is very, very important. And the second thing, when you hire people, make sure that this person is not just qualified, but it's a good person. I take a few weeks of training to know the person, but for some reason, when I meet the person, I already know, I have a feeling. But I think that as you go, you learn, you know, with the, with the mistakes and with the experiences, I think you know. Are there any habits that you've built into your lifestyle that you've learned over time that are really important to keep in your business? When I'm working, I am very present in the moment. I'm not there and thinking about something else. I'm there. And when I'm in the kitchen with the guys, I really love when I'm there because we always learn something new. What would you say to those specifically looking to go into the food business or even the baking business? The best way to learn is not going to school. The best way to learn is working. So I had the chance to work with the best chefs in the world. Just try to work with someone that you admire. I think it's the best way. So we are all probably very hungry by now. How can those watching find out more about Vegan Divas and perhaps get a bite of it for themselves? If you want to find Vegan Divas, you can go on the website www.vegandivasnyc.com and you can order same day delivery. If you're not in New York City, you can order on the website and get your order next day. Hmm. Well, that's a wrap for another inspiring episode of Women in Business. We hope that you have been inspired and that you female entrepreneurs are encouraged to do business in your prospective areas. Until next time, I'm gonna keep eating. Bon appetit, see you tomorrow.